is there any introduction or do I start yeah. talking? Yeah, uh, this kids. Okay. Uh, uh, good morning, good evening, everyone, uh, depending on where you're joining from. Uh, so excited to be here. Uh, welcome to third session of uh, Gamified series. I'm Dolly and... Uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. This is uh, Nikita here. I'm an Agile business analyst and I'm a part of uh, Women in Agile and Tech uh, group. So we are really happy to welcome all of you to this Gamified session. And we have these sessions... Um, every uh, second uh, weekend of the month. So keep uh, looking for them. And uh, Diti, would you like to add something? Just a quick note. Uh, first of all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you from wherever you are. And as Dolly and Nikita have told, this is Gamify Eight session. And uh, just like this, we have three other sessions. One is focused on visual thinking, another on learning around Agile. And the last one is on Unleash Yourself. And uh, so similarly, we have different officers coordinating and running different uh, such programs. So we have something per week. Of course, you can join whatever you want to join. And this group is called Women in Agile and Tech. And this group is further supported by Agile Virgin and Agile Alliance. So Agile Virgin started as a meetup in Northern India and NCR region. And then now it's a community of practices, you know, Pan India. And uh, while we were trying to enable agility in individuals and organizations, we were joined by Agile Alliance. And uh, so now we are hand in hand on all of our efforts with Agile Alliance. This is more of an India community development effort, uh, not just by women in Agile and Tech and Agile Virgin, but from Agile Alliance. And that's it. Now I pass on mic to Doug. Over to you, Doug. So, so my name is Doug. I'm an Agile coach. And um, since the beginning of the year, more or less, I, my, main, um, my main topic is how to help teams work remotely. Work meaning form themselves, have meetings, uh, um, resolve conflicts, coordinate, share, because there's, there's a big problem. Only the problem doesn't start with the, with the remote part. It starts with how do you work as a team? And I think the remote part only makes clearer the part that don't function. So this is like my, my belief. If you're interested in my training, contact me. It's affordable, it's great. And you should believe me because I never lie. And uh, today I would like to focus on um, some gamified ways that, that you can improve your meetings. And these are three activities that were made specifically to address meeting culture. But before we start talking about this, I would like you to take one minute of silence and think of your meetings. And in this minute, I would like you to think what is the biggest problem that occurs in the meetings that you participate in. And if there is one thing, one behavioral thing that you would have loved to change, what would it be? Okay, so really take one minute of silence and think about this. And if you're ready, I will present a whiteboard. And I invite you to write on the whiteboard. And if you don't know this option in Zoom, this is the time to discover it. If you don't have this option, meaning you, you're connected from a mobile or from a web application, then you can put it on the chat. But I would prefer that you write it on the board. You have a, 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 on the top of your screen, you, you have a, a, a I don't see it because I am the one who holds the screen, but you have something called a 
annotations or something like that. And when you open it, you, you, you have uh, drawing tools and you have text tools. Yeah, and I see that someone already wrote something. So if you don't manage, let me know and I'll explain better. And I think it's better to write uh, in text because otherwise you will take the whole board. So I don't know who wrote this, but uh, perhaps you can instead. Uh, and, and by the way, you can also um, um, choose other colors as I see that you already do. So we have having a diverse set of people, active participation, aimless, nonverbal cues. I guess nonverbal cues are missing, right? Yeah. Missing meeting people. I don't understand this. Engagement, good one. Members are not responding and providing feedback. Most of them are in mute. Papa, can, can you <laughs> not write on each other? Uh, something meetings we are not sure. People in the meeting are gasping, grasping it, and are engaged. Okay, so engagement. Anyone else? Attention span. Okay, uh, this is the big one, only in small. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you half a minute more. Elephants in the room, wow. Okay, this is interesting. I'd love to hear more. <laughs> so a, a lot of you are writing what's the problem and not what's the behavioral change that you want to see. No clue on mindset of people, what they're thinking. Okay. Most of the people remain silent. Okay. So so we see some pattern. And what what we also see, which is interesting, is that different people have different problems. And the, when I ask people, and I do a session like this a lot. Um, do you all have ideas of uh, how to change this? Most people say yes, not to all the problems, but they say we have to start on time, okay, or we have to uh, have an agenda, or we have to uh, um, declare clearly if people are optional or mandatory, or we have to end on time, or we have to have roles, or we have to, we have to a lot. And the question is, why doesn't it work? If we all know how to behave better, how to improve our meetings in some aspects, how come it doesn't work? And I have a theory. But before I talk about my theory, I would love to hear some of you that wrote this in more detail. So I would love to hear some of your voices. Can you? explain what you wrote, especially the elephants in the room fascinates me. Can, can the person who wrote yeah. this explain? For them audible, uh, this is Rimal Lokeshia. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 good enough. Right, okay. So uh, the behavior or the pattern that I see is like, you know, whenever we have a healthy discussion going on, and if there is, you know, a, a senior or a giant or a elephant who's entering the room, that turns off all the newbies and uh, you know uh, juniors, right? And uh, they tend to dominate, and uh, you know probably they are less open to hear from the juniors. So I'm just trying few ways that I know which could change this behavior, but would like to you know hear all your experiences and see what wor worked well to handle this. Okay, great. So when you say elephants in the room, in fact. It for me, it means something totally different. An the, the, the expression an elephant in the room means something big that no one talks about. Okay, I'll, I'll say like, but you know, now I'm talking what, about people, yeah, but, but not... Uh, 
For me, like what you're talking about is there are the people who make the decision. And, and when they are there, everyone else doesn't, uh, is not present, doesn't dare speak their mind. You got it. That's right. It's, it's called hippo, I think, right? A, a higher, high. Higher professional. Individual. The higher state professional. If anyone else wants to describe what, what's the, the biggest hello? problem? Yeah, hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Myself, uh, Sipson. Uh, I put that uh, statement, elephant in the room. Uh, what I mean from here is uh, exactly the same thing. People are obvious about the problem, uh, what is uh, there, but no one wants to speak up. Uh, that is what the elephant in the room, with the, which is a metaphorical item. Uh, uh, and uh, that behavior, we can see it in many places, like um, whether it is a junior or a senior team member, uh, okay, if I am involving, okay, or if I am providing a solution, I, I'm giving a suggestion, um, maybe that is a, not a safe environment there. That's why people don't want to speak up. They, they are pretty much clear on the problem, but they don't want to speak. Okay. So if anyone else wants to present what they wrote, let's have one or two more people. I think I read this. Uh, in chat as well as here, one major problem I can see is can't understand what is the body language, if people are engaged or not, are they, you know, enrolled in this conversation and uh, willing to, you know, contribute to it? I mean, are they engaged? That is what is not uh, helpful in this situation. Um, but here you could see them in your office and can see whether they're getting bored or they're engaged. Right now, that's not easily possible, especially when people turn off the cameras. Hello. And Hello. so I, I want, be, before I go into the gaming, I will address this, but I would like to hear one more person. Yeah, hi, uh, this is Saurabh. So exactly the same problem I face what uh, Deepthi has described. So we don't know whether people are really participating or not because we cannot see their, uh, we cannot have the eye contact, don't have the body language. We don't know whether they are actually participating or the join the meeting and uh, <laughs> they just join the meeting and uh, we don't know what they are doing. I mean, they are actively involved or not. So that is the biggest problem to carry forward everybody along, uh, everybody in the team together. So the, the game-wise, this is exactly why I started with the game that I started. Because I think <laughs> the biggest problem, and by the way, I'll, I'll, I'll let you in on a secret. I have a friend who's a coach in France, and he says that his main problem is like this with teams in India. So just so you know, this is, this is a, uh, out of a sample of one. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. This is why I start w usually with some short activity that will nudge, I don't want to use the word force, but nudge people to turn on their camera and turn on their, their microphones. And uh, like philosophically, I think the problem with this is exactly the problem of the, that we're facing right now as humanity. Um, what someone asks you to do is a burden for you, but it profits everyone, right? It, it, to put a mask, it doesn't usually help you. It helps, it protects the others. To put on a camera is a discomfort for you, but it's a much bigger comfort for the group. And to explain this and to engage people in an activity that forces them, at least in the beginning. And by the way, that, like I respect that, you know, if someone says, I can't, it's okay, but can you just do it for the two minutes of the game? And in the two minutes of the game, I already see more or less where you are. Okay, so th th there's, I think if you want to educate your teams, do it gradually. And just invite them to, to, to a, a space where, where they can play a game that requires a video. And this is not the only one. Like it, it, there's a lot of activities that require a video. And at the end, what I do with teams is I say, from now on the rule is if you don't have video, 
it means that you're not in the meeting. Just like in, in a meeting when you're in a real office, uh, you can step outside to speak on the phone. If you turn off your camera, we assume that you're not here. Okay, so these are my thoughts about this, but it's a behavioral change, it's, it's, it takes time. So this is about this. What I suggest is that we keep, let's say the last 20 minutes to questions about meetings in, in general, because what I want to show today are three very specific tools to address the problem that is uh, titled meetings. Okay, or the, how, how do we improve meetings? And before we improve, I think we have to understand what does it mean to improve? And as we saw, there's a lot of things that you wrote for everyone that, what does it mean to improve is something different. And um, for me, the answer to why uh, all of the uh, beautiful practices that we know that the, that the team should uh, um, behave, why they don't work is because the only time to change a behavior is when the behavior occurs. So it doesn't matter if you now in this webinar learn something, if you don't apply it during the meeting, it won't work, okay? Only the problem is that to apply something during the meeting is the totally wrong time to apply it because during the meeting, you don't want to talk about meeting dynamics. You want to talk about the topic of the meeting. If you will start now hijacking your meeting to talk about how the behavior should be different, it probably it will be the last time that you will do this because it, the, the meeting now it didn't, will not reach its purpose. So everyone will understand and you will talk half an hour about why the camera is important or why we should start on time. And at the end, you will not reach what you wanted to reach. So um, I had an idea three, uh, three years ago about how we can do that. And that's what I want to present to you. Only for this, I will uh, uh, stop the, the board. Perhaps, uh, Dipi, can you take a screenshot? Great, okay, so tell me when you took the screenshot so I can remove it. No, 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 no. don't remove, give me a second. Okay, <laughs> okay, so even a few seconds on the uh, and I think our audience is getting restless. I am done taking my seconds, you can remove the moment. Okay, so I do this, and um, the other thing that I will do is I will remove my virtual background. And by the way, a, a virtual background is a great solution to, um, to put some life into a meeting. So the, I encourage you to try it if your computer is strong enough and to, to choose it well. So this is my real background. Um, the, the, the activity that I want to show you is called the Meeting Spicer. And uh, the premise is this, um, give me one minute time box of your meeting time and one minute is nothing in meeting uh, terms. And I will help you hack your meeting culture, okay? Uh, and how it works is really simple. I have a set of cards like this. Um, I don't know, yeah, yes, okay, so now it's here. And uh, you choose a card at random. So let's say someone Tell me a number between one and 10. Five. Five, okay, one, two, three, four, five. So today Six. when we start the meeting, no, that's it, one, one number is enough. So today when we start the meeting, uh, that's what you do. Ask everyone to look around and think silently for 20 seconds. In my opinion, do all participants agree on the meeting goal and are willing and able to participate, uh, to contribute? And am I? So look around now, you have a screen of 25 people and look around the screen and ask yourself this question in silence for 20 seconds. Okay, and now when we did this, uh, you can say, okay, now we can start. So no, no discussions. 
this was a, a, a small meditation that helps people connect to what's happening here. Okay, another card could have been um, this one, which is like more practical. Read this card and ask the person to your left. I don't know what is left in Zoom, uh, but uh, like I'll ask Deepthi. Uh, will this meeting have a summary? Do we need one? And if so, who will write it? So, lovely question. This meeting will not, we'll have a meet, uh, summary, absolutely. And that will be displayed on our website, which, we, which is targeted to come out by the end of this year. Wonderful. So it's a collection of questions like this. Like I can give you one. Like I think this one is, is really popular. People are happy when this one happens. Okay, let's try this. Today, finish early. Set the meeting to end five minutes ahead of plan. Okay. And the, there's a lot of practices like this in this deck. I'll, uh, later, I'll tell you how you can uh, access it, uh, how you can print uh, a part of it. And we, I, I'm not only selling my deck. I, I would like you to, uh, I'll show you how to use it. Um, and the idea is that I have no clue what is good for your meetings. And I'm not judging anything. But what I would like you is to take half a minute every time in the beginning of your meeting to practice something. Sometimes it's, as you saw, a mindful exercise, okay? So, like, think for, for 20 seconds, what result do you expect from this meeting and what outcome would you love to have, okay? And after 20 seconds, we don't talk about this. We just start talking, but my theory is that just the fact that we had 20 seconds of silence where everyone thought of this question will direct the meeting on a good path. Sometimes, as you saw, it's something very practical. Okay? Sometimes it's a question, like what time is it now and did we start on time? If not, what's the delay? And the power of it is also that it's totally random, that it's not if I say that today we turn off my phones and we put it on the table, then probably some of you will resent me. But if the card said that, then who do you resent? Okay, so it's also a way to um, um, delegate responsibility to chance, if you want. Only, of course, a chance is something that you can affect because uh, we at least me, when I take these cards, I first sort out what cards do I think will be appropriate for the meeting that, that, that I'm in, okay? And for this, uh, we have, uh, see, like, um, see here we have a green pepper on this card, and on this card we have a yellow one. Uh, there's too much sun, but uh, you, you will see it eventually, I hope. No, I don't know, okay. So, so you should believe me. Here we have a yellow one and there's red one, which helps you to sort out the cards by how, how spicy they are. That's the, how we call it. Okay. So this is a, a part of the, the, the activity that I wanted to show you. Only a, there is a complementary set of cards, which is cards that I used at the end of the meeting. So when you end the meeting, you do the same ritual with the, with the a end meeting cards, okay? With cards that, that help you to check out if you want. And again, a number from one to 10. Two. Two, okay. So two is this one. Let, let it come out of focus. Uh, read this card and answer aloud. What is the exact time? One exact we time. End on the Did we end on the plan time? If not, what was the difference? Ask the same patient important. Yeah. Okay. So this is a card. And, and I just uh, I want to show you a, a small magic trick. I, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I read the cards while I show them to you. And this is because all cards uh, for this version are printed <laughs> the same on both sides. So I show, when I show it to the camera, I, I read it as well. So that's a, like a, a small magic trick. 
And, and again, we have the uh, cards like uh, this one, which is more practical, or um, cards like this, which is more, I don't know, soft skills, if you want. Ask everyone to think silently for 20 seconds about remote kudos. You want to thank someone on the other end of the line. And now 20 seconds of silence. And usually when there's silence, there's tension. And when there's tension, something will happen. Okay, so this is, a, a, I'm almost done with the first tool. So, so what, kind of, sorry, uh, what kind of tension are you talking about, speaking about here? Yeah. If we are silent, there's a tension in the mind, minds of the people. Yeah, Only I think, if yes, you are silent. to be silent. If you are silent, then, uh, it automatically brings a psychological tension. Someone will start, someone will talk, or someone will utter the word, and that is the start of every conversation. If, if I am right. Yes. And often, by, by the way, even if you don't use the card, I would advise you when you start a meeting to start by 20 seconds of silence, even if you, there's nothing behind it. Just silence of 20 seconds will help people check in and be awake to what's going on in the room, virtual or not. So this is, uh, this is what I'm, um, I'm talking about when I say silent. Okay. 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 Um, so there's loads of practices to end the meeting. Like uh, uh, let, let's pick uh, by random. Um, which one do I like here? Like, so think silently for 20 seconds. Uh, what's the most important thing I learned in, in this meeting? And by the way, no need to share it. And the no need to share it is important because it allows you, uh, the fo autofocus doesn't work well, okay. It allows you to think freely, okay? okay. I learned that this person is a bastard and I should never uh, ask him questions. You will not, if you know that, you, if you don't know that you're not going to share it, then you will probably not allow yourself to think this. Okay, so a lot of, oh, it's a really big collection that we, we, it took us three years to collect. And in the deck that I'm showing you, we curated the cards that are relevant to remote meetings. We also have a deck for, um, I don't dare call it normal because I think that remote meetings are the new normal, but for, for a, a, a collocated meetings with the practices such as everyone get up and sit near someone that you know the least and you can say hello. We can't do this in Zoom. Okay, so this one is a sub deck and we, we added some things that are very specific to, to, to what's going on now. Uh, two more uh, uh, activities that I want to show you that are in the deck. And for one of them, I'll have to get up because it's over there. Uh, one is the assignment of roles. Uh, and this is also, I think, a great practice if you want to have, um, I'll, I'll restart. Usually, and I assume all of us take sometimes the role of a facilitator. Um, people take the role of a facilitator, organizer, a, a, a everything. Okay, so I own the meeting and I will make sure to send the invitations and I will be the timekeeper and I will be everything. And this is a great, great way to do a bad job. So I suggest that you fail in doing a bad job by delegating. And uh, so who today wants to be the decision driver? Okay, and the decision driver, by the way, if you don't know what it is, it has a description here in the cards, uh, when a dialogue is not constructive, when decisions are not, do not emerge, when conversation diverge, show this card because now I have the authority and remind speakers that we're losing time and focus and drive to a concrete decision. And the fact that you have this card gives you an authority to speak in a voice that maybe you wouldn't speak if uh, you weren't formally assigned this role. Okay, so this is an example. I won't go through all the roles, but uh, uh, we have a call facilitator and uh, a meta. Meta is, 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 I think it's the, the most fascinating role that I know. 
which is your role is to just observe the dynamics of the meeting. And at the end, we'll give you two minutes to share what you observed. And when I use this card, the most fascinating observations, the, the most powerful things appeared by people who normally don't speak because you don't have to speak during the meeting. It's, your role is just to observe and write. And usually the people who are introverts are great at this. Of course, facilitator and scribe and a timekeeper who has a special set of cards and uh, make up your roles. You know, whatever roles you have, add, it, add them to your deck. You don't, you're not bound to, to, to what we did. I'll just show you one second. So the timekeeper also received the time, the time cards, which, which are like this, okay? Which are 15 minutes, 10 minutes, the time's up. And the, the power of this is that you don't interrupt the people who are speaking. So the, the, one of the advantages of turning your cameras on is that you can have a visual cues. So that's the meeting spicer. Um, I want to show you, um, in addition to this, the online version that we created, which is not a set of cards, but a board game. And I'll, I'll tell you how to get this if you want. Um, so it's a PDF. That looks like this. So instead of, of uh, me ha having the cards, we share the card and, and we roll a set of dice. So we can roll it like this. And we got, we got, we got, we got one and two. Okay. So one and two means that today, one, see, one here, two here. Ask everyone to think silently for 20 seconds. Am I ready for this meeting and how did I prepare? Now, 20 seconds of silence. And this is the question that echoes in the mind of everyone. And again, there's, a, there's 18 questions here. The next page is a page that is for the end of the meeting, the same, same trick, the same, same idea. And um, even though I wrote it, I think it's a great tool for, for teams to, to, to use. Okay. Um, so this is the first activity that I wanted to show you. Um, I would love to uh, understand what you think about this, but for this we'll use the second activity if you don't mind. Okay, so uh, uh, the second activity is called uh, uh, the debriefing cube. Why is it called the debriefing cube? Because it has two things. It has a cube, which is this, okay? And it's used for the briefing. And what is the briefing? Anyone? Okay, so I'll answer. Uh, the briefing is uh, um, um, a time to reflect on what happened and what can we learn from this. And this is the, the most powerful tool of uh, agility. The, how do you improve as a team? How do you improve as an individual? What can you learn from what happened? Okay, and the way that this one works is uh, simple. You have a cube and you roll the cube. So I'll, I'll roll it for you. And it fell on this thing, which is a target. Okay, so now you have your cards, and uh, I don't know if you see, I, I'll get out of the sun, so perhaps you'll see better. Hold on a second. Okay. So, cards with different colors and icons on the back, and you choose a card or, with this one, because we chose target, and now we have here four questions, so I'll ask you the questions. 
here just as yeah, I have problems with internet, so please tell me if you stop hearing me well, okay? Good. Okay, mm -hmm. so now uh, regarding what we just did, how is your understanding of the goal different now? Or if you want, I'll reframe it. When you came in, you had a goal in mind. How did this goal change now compared to the beginning? Okay, and I would just like to hear you. Not everyone at once. So I will get started and I'm sure this will uh, enable others also to share what they're experiencing. So if I say about myself, I thought together we will play some games. But, so you know, so the intention was to play and learn. That was initial goal for me. But now I am getting to learn different games which I can use with my teams. So of course the playing part is not there, but the other benefit which has happened is it's not just one game we are talking, we are talking multiple situations and different ways of playing a one or a combination of games which you have brought to us. So yes, aim has changed, value is brilliant. Value hasn't reduced. Okay, anyone else? Yeah, no, this is Ramesh. I'm from India, Chennai. Am I audible? Yes. Yeah, I didn't have any clue what is the whole purpose of the meeting. I just got the invite, so I just joined. Now I got some bit of how to handle the situation in a different way. Not the best uh, taken for me take back from the session. It was, it was indeed good. And I just want to add one point. Uh, no one your first query. Why remote participants are not uh, turning on the camera? Can I uh, comment on that, on that now? Perhaps we'll do it in, in, the, in the last part of, of the event when we talk freely because I have uh, <laughs> some stuff yes. that I want to finish. Yes, no problem, no problem, no problem. No problem. Thanks. Okay. So anyone else? Yeah, hi, uh, this is Saurabh from India. And uh, I was clear that gamification I had uh, implemented earlier where I used to uh, basically provide some in incentives to the team when they participate in some activities or when they suppose they are finishing the things earlier on the time. So I have introduced some gamification in terms of incentives, prizes or some sort of recognition. So I was clear that this is some sort of uh, making things, making uh, team meetings more interesting by sort of certain tools or games which you are going to share. So my objective uh, initially was the same. Okay, I, I, what we're doing now, I'm trying to, to, to demonstrate how we use the card. So I won't hear everyone because I want, what I want is to do this. And just as Deepthi asked so nicely, uh, implicitly, we'll uh, split into break, breakout rooms and I want you to do this in a small team, okay? But the second question is how did your awareness change? Okay, so at the beginning you, you had uh, vision A, now you have vision B. How did it change? Okay, and the third question, so, so we, we talk a little bit about this. Again, I'm, I'm just introducing the, the, the game, and it's not a game, it's, it's a tool, but it's a game tool if you want. The third question is, what did you learn? And the fourth one, how would the experience change if you knew all of this before? So this is a set of four questions and there's lots of questions here. This is a question about the goal. There's also questions about the takeaway, about the, um, the process, about my favorite part, about uh, emotions, and about communication. So uh, this is why it's called the cube. It has six spaces and you can choose which aspect you talk about, or you can do it at random. And now I would invite you to go into breakout rooms. I'll, I'm sending you a link to where you can download this, and I'll show you what I want you to do. So the link is 
the yeah. okay. is this, which in fact is a re redirection from the debriefingcube.com. And this is a PDF that you can download and cut and use or don't cut and use. So what you can do in your team, you can choose at random a number between a three and 13, only a, a, an odd number, not an even one, which will bring you to a page of the right motion. In fact, I'll share, you, I'll share the screen so you'll see it better. Um, okay. So this is the PDF. And it has exactly the cards, you see? So it has on one side the cards and on the other side it has the, the background because it's intended to be printed. And the, I want you to choose at random one of the pages. So again, random of uh, three to 13, and then choose at random a, a card on this page. And just one of you in each group will be the facilitator and will ask the team the question that they have and the team will, uh, will answer. And when the facilitator sees that the first answer is good enough, uh, you will ask the second one and then the third and then the fourth. And if you have time, try another card of another type, okay? So uh, are you better now, Deepti? We, we are playing a game? <laughs> okay, so can you send everyone to, to, to breakout rooms of four people, four to five people? Uh, Dipti, I'm creating it. Is, is it okay? So we will have uh, five rooms with four to five participants per room. Uh, Dav, is that okay? Yes, it's great. Okay, uh, so here we go. And the question is, uh, again, wh what I want you to retrospect about is uh, uh, the session until now. Okay. And people who didn't join, I don't know if they, they joined after we assigned them to rooms or not. There are like a few people who didn't join. Yeah, sure. Neha, Rupesh, Martin. Martin. Hi. Hey Neha, did you get any link to join any breakout room? Not sure. I have just joined, so I'm a bit clueless at the moment. Okay, let me send you to a room. Uh, maybe the room can help you with that. Okay, okay. thanks. Okay. Martin, are you there? Okay. The question, is it something proved scientifically proven? Let's see. Now um, my question from me. Yes. So, uh, and I'm trying to read the chat. Yes, I'm listening. Okay. So, how long should we have the breakout uh, rooms for? Um, what time? How how much time do we have? In fact, we have to, uh, thirty-five minutes, right? Yes. So I think ten minutes is good. Okay. I'll just put a message.
and let's see what what people wrote if there's any questions that are interesting there is a question is it something proved scientific yeah, is, is what something proved? <laughs> I, I saw i saw it but uh, I, I don't don't see ramesh said understanding is my ah, ramesh hi dov could you please share the pdf you just mentioned showed us thanks uh, achieve the purpose better understanding okay uh, and then he said understanding is much better and learned a trick way how to improve ah this is like what okay it's still a bit unclear on relevance of why significance of 20 minutes why not 10 or ah, 20 seconds okay so the, <laughs> it's a so the, the answer is, is, is simple, but I'll, uh, remind me, I will answer him, okay? Yeah, yes, yes. Is it going so far? Now it is going good. For you, as you saw, dynamics of other meetups, is it, uh, is it okay? Yes. Okay. Ten, ten minutes, I will, I will uh, take something to drink. I'll join you there. Sure, sure. I have cookies. Uh, usually I don't eat cookies, but when I have a, a, an event like this, I treat myself to cookies. Good. Uh, I, I, at the end, I will I remind me and I'll send you uh, links to, like I, I still have to say, where do they download? Because we have a, a mini version of the of the cards that they can download and where do they download the board game and uh, a, a, a cleaner link to where they download the, what they just used. Okay, I'll remind you. And also I would love to leave space for people to ask questions and talk because, uh, you know, talk about a, a sort of real problems. Yeah. Exactly. I'll mute it. So. What do you do with the recording when you have breakout rooms? Uh, so um, in the breakout rooms, no, we cannot record. Only the main room will no, be recorded. But you cut the recording. Do you edit these 10 minutes out? Uh, I think I have to do it. Or you want me to pause it? Hmm. Yeah, if you can, it's, it's the best, but it, it's too late. Okay, so welcome back. And now I would love to hear from the team a, a small uh, feedback on what happened in the in these ten minutes. How did it work? I am excited to share, but I would want to give stage to someone else. I can always go later. But if everyone is shy, then I can start. No, but but first give them the opportunity not to be shy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. this, is, this is Vinod. Uh, uh, okay, you wanted to start, Rajan? Go ahead, Vinod. 
yeah this is vinod here so uh, as i said uh, we uh, discussed about uh, how we uh, entered this session first of all in the sense uh, the uh, we uh, were coming with an expectation around agile gaming and all that and uh, most of us uh, were uh, coming from that kind of background and uh, as a goal uh, for this session and uh, of course so the this is an interesting thing but there are some different aspects uh, something like uh, okay uh, how the cards are going to help uh, that's something which i was not very sure normally uh, we do these kind of check ins and uh, intermittent check ins uh, the during the meeting and all that and uh, and also during uh, sessions uh, we also send people to breakout sessions to go uh, ahead uh, discuss and uh, come back with uh, their reflections uh, but uh, the, i'm i was we, we as a group uh, were not very clear about uh, how this how the cards are going to help uh, i think uh, that was one topic uh, which we were discussing um yeah my my main question by the way is not the result of the retrospective but the experience of using the cards yeah we are not uh, the, we are not used the cards before uh, so this is the first time i am seeing a card myself uh, uh, and uh, generally we do in uh, i do conduct a lot of uh, training sessions on agile and uh, i do a lot of break uh, break uh, sessions as well and uh, uh, but uh, cards is a different kind of experience uh, to me as well okay any other group yeah so in in our group there were couple of things uh, that i would want to highlight which were really effective the first one is uh, the 20 second rule so that made us rea realize that how even small efforts or little questions can be so powerful in bringing a lot of impact in the meeting and save a lot of uh, time with just that silent thinking of 20 seconds um and the second uh, thing that we realized is on uh, the quality of the questions they were so powerful they make you dig deeper and try to identify each and every step that you are taking uh, in 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 your meeting so uh, uh, powerful questions really really help Uh, and these were really good interesting sets of uh, questions yeah and i want to say something about this regarding the the cube and and the meeting spicer as well um we all tend to fall into habits so we have our own uh, three or four or five questions that we always ask and the questions that are not comfortable for us we don't and it's often the questions that we are not comfortable that are more interesting so uh, i won't tell you the story of how my cards came to be but i i can tell you that the story of this deck is the two friends that i have that facilitate a lot together and one day uh, one of them asked the other how come you always ask people at the end how do you feel you don't have any other questions so they they thought together and they got into this deck so um yeah it, it, the purpose of the two there's a lot of purposes but but it's to get you as a coach to, you know facilitate or whatever out of your comfort zone and also to delegate some responsibility so i i know that i give this card a, a lot to scrum masters which allows them not to run a retrospective and now they can observe what happens with no stress and 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 they reach a higher level of facilitation so you delegate the facilitation to to the activity so that was my small speech sorry and the next group uh yeah if uh, i would like to go next uh yeah so uh, as rat very rightly said the uh, questions were really powerful we took the first question where we discussed about the goal of the meeting and i realized that while discussing uh, we get into a meeting with certain assumptions uh, for example we thought that you know everybody knew the goal of the meeting and everybody no it's the same goal but when we start discussing we realized we all of us had different goals when we came to the meeting and different agendas and we thought them differently and uh, those questions really got us thinking and started a conversation which we would have not had otherwise in the meeting wonderful and we have some teams that didn't speak yet 
our team did not speak so what we felt uh, we all got a way to express otherwise everyone keeps quiet we chose seventh card and we all got a way to express there was a way to connect and uh, even if not everyone responded exactly you know the right way uh, each question was supposed to answer but then who knows what is the right way everyone has their own understanding so and then we all got to reflect uh, we all connected emotionally with each other although everyone was speaking different issues someone got extremely invested in the um, in the work someone got charged a ticket by traffic police when someone was totally lost and someone wasn't feeling to speak and then we all got to be present when all of that happened we we felt that if now there is a further discussion on any office matter we will be more engaged so that is what our group felt awesome and my missing group on uh... What your voice broke? Sorry. Am, am I missing uh, uh, the, the last group, or did we do all the groups? I guess yeah, last group. Okay, so as I, I promised you three activities, and so far I showed you only two. The third one is uh, called the collaboration super cards, and um, it's uh, it's a great idea. Just uh, cards like this. Okay. So when you talk, I can put this, okay, or this, or a, a question. Should we re record this or not? And so it's a lot of cards. Do you know this one, by the way? Does anyone know what's Elmo? Yes, so you do. <laughs> so now, now that I see that you have it, I'm grateful that you didn't uh, put it on me. So it means that I'm okay. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> the, your connection isn't good, or I'll be right back, or like the, it's a collection of cards, or oh, please mute yourself. Yeah, but sorry, we don't know what is Elmo. <laughs> ah, sorry, Elmo is enough, let's move on. Okay, it means you, you talk, you, the, we, we got the point, it's okay. And so all of these yeah. cards are really great. And I'll, I'll, in the, I think in the email, I'll send you an email where, where you can get everything that I said, except this, but for this, I can give you a, a photo with cards that you can draw. I'll, I'll just show you. I'll, I'll, I'll share a screen with you again. Yeah, da -da -dum. This one, let's see. I think it's here. See, so so th these are cards that uh, have yes, no, you're on mute, please mute. You go first, or may I add something? Uh, please repeat, or enough, let's move on. And uh, um, I got to go, or I'll be right back. Can hear you back from this connection. And what's nice about this one, first of all, it's a nice activity for the team to draw. And two, uh, what uh, Jordan did, he, he put them in pairs so you can put them double-sided and it's much easier to find because the, the problem that I have with these cards is that when someone is on mute, until I find the right card, already someone told them and, and they're unmuted. So these, these cards are really easy to find because you have only seven cards and, and uh, themed. So I'll send you this photo and you and you can do a, a small workshop with your team. Okay, and uh, one thing that I want to say about Elmo which is uh, all of these cards are really nice and friendly, but Elmo, please use it cautiously and prepare your team because it can be really insulting if your team doesn't have this protocol. And this is part of, uh, like in, in, in the training, I talk a lot about how do you prepare the team's mindset? How do the people avoid misunderstanding? So these are the three activities that I wanted to present today. And uh, I think that we have a, a lot of time for questions. And uh, if you have like, like one question that was here, by the way, which is simple, is why 20 seconds? And, and the answer is simple. Um, if it was one hour, then we wouldn't do the meeting, okay? Uh, uh, the pretext of, of the meeting spicer is that I take only one minute of your time. 
And one minute means 30 seconds in the beginning, 30 seconds in the end. So as it takes time to read the card, I say 20 seconds so that no one will say, ah, in fact, it's more than 30 seconds because it's also the time to read the card. Okay, so this is it. it frankly, when I do it, I never look with a stopwatch. I know more or less when the time is up. Okay. So in any other questions, remarks, feedback, uh, whatever about the cards or about meetings in general, because meetings are frankly, professionally my favorite topic. Is it like these cards, uh, hi, this is Mohammed Sunny here. Is it these cards like uh, already available, which we can purchase or is it like you just made it or printed? I don't know. So, so they're available to purchase, yes. From my experience, it, it, the cost for, for India is quite high. I would love, by the way, if, if one of you really, really yeah. loves it, to help me print it in India. <laughs> because <laughs> the, the, the cost of printing in Europe and shipping to India, it, for me, it's reasonable, by the way. But if, if, when I talk to people in India, they really like it and then it's hard to purchase. Um, yep. I will send you, um, in fact, you can get a, a set of, uh, a, a deck of cards that you can print yourself, a smaller one, a, a demo deck, if you send an email to meetingspicer at gmail.com. And you will receive this in the email, I hope, that, that we will write, I hope, <laughs> after this <laughs> meeting. Okay. okay, so, and also where you can get the, the, the PDF that you can, oh, again, Initially, I thought uh, to print it and to use it, you know, as, as a real uh, game with dice. But the PDF version, I think the sharing the screen is, is much more powerful. Yep. Thank you. So any other questions? You talked a lot here about, chat. yes. Uh, there is one on the chat window which is so so whoever is in the chat would you mind just asking the question instead of typing it no so one thing that i wanted to say the common theme between all of this is the, is the word that you mentioned today which is mindfulness which is helping people be aware for me, the, the, the result, the, the goal of the meeting spicer is not to try stuff. The goal of the meeting spicer is to wake people up, is to make them be present. And uh, from my experience, if all of us share an experience together, it makes us more in sync. It makes us more aligned, more in harmony toward what we're, we're doing. So like if, if I will ask you now all to think silently of a question that is about what's going to happen, then it, let's say if I ask um, the, the question that I like, it, it, what's my role in this meeting? Am I, am I mandatory? Am I, am I a, a, a optional? Is my participation optional? And what's my role? And now I give you time to think. And after this, it's not only me who thought about this, but also whoever I look at, I know that they thought about what is their role as well. And I say, I wonder if uh, uh, Rajan thinks that he's, he's optional here or mandatory. What, what is the role that he thought? So it makes me more connected to the dynamics of the, of the meeting. And, and for me, like this is the, the hidden agenda of, of, of the meeting spicer is not to let you practice stuff, is to help you build yourself as a team. So that was an answer to a question that was not asked. <laughs> Do you have any questions to ask? Any questions from the work area that uh, real time work area that you have? you see yourself using any of the activities I showed you? 
Uh, usually when we go to the meetings, not everybody will participate actively because we are now in uh, remote. Not everybody will switch on their cameras. They will not be there on video. So it's very difficult as a scrum master for me to schedule meetings and make people participate. It's very difficult. Any suggestions from your end? Uh, my, my best suggestion is talk, talk okay, look, um, your, your camera is not on, right? Okay, so now, uh, uh, how do you feel now when I talk to you? Do, do you see the difference? Okay, yes. and if you do, this is exactly how I feel when your camera is off. Okay, so this is how I explain to people. Okay, so the difference between this and this is exactly is exactly what's happening. And also the story that I that I shared with you about the, the COVID, I think, is a good way to explain to people. It's it, the problem with humanity now is that uh, we're not altruistic, that we do what's comfortable for us and not what's good for everyone, including us. If that I depend on you and you depend on me, and since we're egoistic, we're, we're both going to die. And it's the same in, in, in the story of the camera on a, on a small scale. I would like you to take a little bit of your comfort out so that our common comfort will be bigger. Okay, but if you don't talk, like, you know, I, in fact, the, the guy that I talked to who said that the Indian team is not, a, is not turning on the camera and he said, any game that you suggest, and I said, the best thing is to talk to them and explain that it bothers you and why. And that's what he did and it worked. Like, I, in fact, what I presented today we call it games, but it's not games. It's activities that are relevant to something. It's gamification, it's not games. It's, and gamification is making the rules explicit and making the consequences lighter. Okay, so um, instead of implying, you, you know, it bothers me, so I try to change your behavior. No, it bothers me first. I would like you to understand, have empathy with me and understand why it bothers me. So th that's that's my suggestion. It's not uh, has nothing to do with games. Okay, thank you. Hope it helps. Anyone else? Uh, hi, Do uh, Sipson here. Uh, I have a quick question. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for sharing your wonderful uh, uh, set of cards, and it, it took a lot of time for you to develop that one and sharing. My question is related to when we are showcasing in the uh, screen uh, li like this. Okay, is there any other way you are representing through online? Is there any any other mechanism you are using uh, instead of showing the cards because the focusing like problem and all? Yeah, is there any other <laughs> way you are uh, addressing that one? So in Zoom you have this, right? I don't know if you know this or not, but you have you have like a few icons here. I don't know if that's your question or not. Uh, yeah, uh, you were showing the card, right? Ask the people to read it and all. Sometimes we are finding difficult to get it focused and all. Is there any other mechanism like you have a online version or anything like that to click and randomly uh, click so, that one? So for my for my cards, what I showed you is is the the online version. I, I, perhaps I don't understand the question, but. Uh, it, where is it? This one. Yeah. This one. Okay. And if if we focus on this, then I can just zoom on this. I don't know if it helps or not. Or perhaps I don't understand the question. Okay, you are using the dice to identifying the questions and sharing it to, through the screen. That is one of the mechanism you are using, right? So, so yeah, I, I share and and also with the with the with the the um, with the cube with the debriefing cube. Yeah, it's the same. You can share a screen. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, 
Okay, thank you so much. And also, uh, by the way, the, what I wanted, the, I, I, I really wanted to show you in the beginning this option, which I find super powerful of, uh, of uh, the whiteboard, and not only the whiteboard, by the way. So what you, what you saw with the whiteboard, you can do also uh, with any screen, okay? So if I have this, now as a facilitator, I can annotate, I can, I can uh, draw here, okay? I can uh, use uh, this stick to, to show, where is it, Opa, I, I need to see. So I can, I can show a pointer, you see? Okay. And, the, and this one treats people, you know, it's, it's like driving a, a cat crazy with a laser. Mm -hmm. So to keep people engaged, if you share a screen, you, you can use this one to show where you are. Okay, yeah, that answers, thank you. So I, I hope it helps. Yeah, but the, it, I think the best way is to to not make it your problem. To ask the team to to like why not delegate this to the team? Cool, yeah. And make sure. them find the answers. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sure. Anyone else? Uh, uh, not a question, but a quick note of appreciation for you. I think uh, the problem that we are trying to solve with this is a huge problem because time is value. And we often see a lot of meetings derailed with just because they are not planned properly or the mindfulness uh, aspect is not brought into the meeting up front. And even when we are concluding, so uh, superb effort. Thank you so much for sharing all your Yes, so thanks a lot. Um, so uh, this is why, as I said, currently my main mission is to teach people how to how to help a team not lose this. Uh, you know, a team is made out of of a purpose and 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 some dynamics, and uh, we are at risk of losing both. Because uh, usually, by the way, in most teams, it's already not that healthy. So most teams don't have a, a great sense of purpose in the old days, let's call it. And uh, the team dynamics are, uh, uh, you know, can be better, let's say. And just like they say about Scrum, Scrum doesn't solve anything, it just enhances the problem. It makes it clearer. And that's what happened in this situation that we are in. Suddenly it's much more obvious that, that the teams are lost. It's not that the teams became lost. Just the lostness, the, the fact that they're lost is, is much clearer. And uh, this problem or this issue has to be addressed. And there's a lot of tricks to address certain parts. And I think the most important one is, um, is not a trick, is to understand the mindfulness, to understand that it, currently we are all one. All, all of the people that you see on the screen are one entity and to help this entity find its, its identity. And uh, so I talk a lot in the training about tips and tricks, but you know, it's just like Agile. If you don't understand what agility is, doing Scrum will not help you. Okay, so Scrum is a solution, but if you don't understand the problem, then Scrum will do nothing. So I, I don't know if it, uh, there, there was no question, but I, I hope I answered the question anyway. Yes, thank you. Thank Anyone you. else? Yeah, we are we are out of time box for the session, and so I would appreciate that people connect with us further on LinkedIn, and uh, I pass on the mic to Nikita for closing the event, and yeah. I'm really thankful love for taking out time and hosting this session, holding this session. We were the host. <laughs> so over to you, Nikita. Yeah. Th thank you, Dipti, and uh, thanks everyone for their active participation and special thanks to Dove for teaching us these uh, really nice hacks and tricks for our, making our meetings more productive and uh, this thing. And I would uh, really like to suggest that uh, do uh, connect 
with us on our LinkedIn pages of Women in Agile and Tech and Agile Warden for further uh, programs and initiatives that we are having. Uh, with this, we would like to close this session. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, and, and by the way, you're invited yeah. to connect with me on LinkedIn as well. Someone asked for sure. I, I, I almost never say no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Take Thank care. You. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.